till I'm just a little more here at the Renaissance Hotel. And uh, as you can already see, folks, like they totally barricaded this off. And there's still the hyper harmony, no trespassing, and especially here. See, they even, they're still there. And I've seen already some egregious acts from the Toronto police already. Uh, when I got here, the Toronto police gave out a ticket to these protesters for basically one reason. For one reason. So I just spoke to some of them and the lovely lady Stephanie, yeah, she says she got ticketed under the you know, opening on their act for kind of organizing it and she even went on and saying that she didn't organize anything and they put it on the wrong name a wrong name and this is the most egregious thing that i ever seen ever and ever so let's see how it goes so how can I get a board? My dogs have their names. Listen, I am legitimate to serve me this ticket. No, it's not over because you think it's Shout out to Marshall. You're not having that seat. Can I see this? This is... This is not me. The ticket that was handed to me. The, if somebody who's been filming this can join me, I want to go ask an officer what I do, but the ticket is not. They should get the mounted police here. Hey? <laughs> In my car, you would imagine when you do take action, you would do it right. <laughs> For what reason did they give out the ticket? I have no idea because this is they said my the organizers. They said that the ticket is failed to comply with the continued section order reopening Ontario Act. Uh, in his words, he said it's because we organized a gathering of more than five people. Wow. But I didn't organize anything. I just they showed up. Did they call you to come here today? No. <laughs> I didn't ask anybody to come here today. I just came here. I don't know what to do with this ticket. I don't know what to do with it either. I wonder if it makes it completely invalid. I imagine a lawyer will help us understand. But I have it very clear on video that they handed me a ticket in somebody else's name. And wow. the officer who is handing it to me does not want to answer my question. Wow. <laughs> That's the thing, right? Like, when you ask them questions, like their, ba their response is basically dead silent. Yeah, they don't want to answer because they know what they're doing is not right. Yeah. Right, it is what it is. Finally, once I got my um, negative COVID test to try to keep, they said they're going to make me stay again for another 20 hours. Why? Because there's protests to let me leave. And I said, I don't understand. Like, you can't keep me here. I don't have anything to eat here. You're constantly bringing me meat when I'm telling you guys I don't eat this. I was hysterical crying. They told me if I do try to leave, that they're going to detain me and arrest me. So, honestly, it was scary. And we're trying to find out if they indeed have those powers. We have lawyers going through the ordering council. Uh, we don't have an answer one way or another if they're just saying that to people or they actually have the legislative legislative backing to uh, to enforce those rules. But um, and I understand from people that have stayed here in the past, ma'am, you can't even order your own food by no. DoorDash or Uber. No, Why not? I don't know. And so I said that to the guy. I said, if you're not providing me with something, then I can be able to myself with it and the man on the phone from the Red Cross literally laughed and said no you can't order this thing wait a minute somebody from the Red Cross was laughing at you absolutely and I have it all recorded uh, you know, I'd love to get those recordings I, I thought the Red Cross were the compassionate people <laughs> what's your name you need a, if you need a lift well, someone will give you a lift My phone number so you can get in touch with me. Absolutely. And, okay. I already, today, whenever they said they wouldn't let me leave, I contacted Twitter and I contacted the CTV News already. I didn't know what to do. Like, nobody can help me. Well, Andrea, this is.
this is egregious, and uh, I don't think we've given a fine or anything, have you? No, because I followed their rules and I didn't see it. Well, if, if um, you have your cell phone out, I can give you my number. Do right, you need a ride anyway? Do you like to lift the and if you do get a fine after the fact, we can take you on as one of our Fight the Fines clients. We'll put you in touch with a top-notch criminal lawyer and we'll crowdfund all your legal fees. So, um, you can join us, Andrea, on Saturday too. Young, young and Bluer, Bluer and Avenue. Come out and speak for freedom. No, bro, he just wants to... Take my name and number? Oh, sorry. Yeah, they wouldn't, they wouldn't come away, they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I actually couldn't believe this was happening in Canada. How about the media? How's the media doing today? What media? Me and you and Rebel and what that's it. What media? Where's you guys were being here. What would we do without you guys? It's a real media too, so we got Oh yeah, we got Justin. We got a few real media here. Right on. We're all grateful that you guys are here because you know CTV is definitely not here. I don't see any global news here. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure. So Stephanie, what's your plan right now with those stickers? Like, what are you planning to do with those stickers? Like, are you planning to hire a lawyer or what? Um, yeah, I'm not so sure. I would like some clarification first on what I do with a ticket that's not written in my name. None of the officers seem to want to answer this question. So I guess me, I don't even know to be honest what my action is going to be. I didn't expect to come down here and receive such a, a court summons today. Um, I'm sure it will be framed and put up on my wall with all my other tickets I received. So we'll see as it unfolds. Wow, this is the most outrageous thing that I've ever seen. Like Toronto Police particularly uh, going after to people like you for basically informing people, exercising your rights and might never know who's pulling the screen, is it? Premier Doug Ford or maybe Mayor John Tory? Yeah, I don't know. To me, they, they're all puppets. There's not much a difference in any of them. I don't know who's ordering this. I don't know who's asking for it. Yeah, but I know I'm not afraid to receive it. Okay. Yeah, but they're pushing up against the fence yeah. here, if you see. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Presume the fence. Well, yeah, like you, I said, but uh, it might, it, they might have spilled out onto a public uh, street. Here. Yeah, David, before you came, I said, uh, they said it's private property. He said, all right, who owns it? The Radisson. I said, oh, it's owned by China. Is it the CCP? <laughs> I can answer that. You need to leave your trespass. And I said, I'm just walking my dogs. Well, I mean, um, but I mean, the thing is, sir, I'm unclear mm -hmm. where the road ends and the Radisson's uh, driveway begins. Absolutely, yeah. 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 They're, they're obviously a little bit shameful. I mean, look, you know, they're screening themselves now. Yeah. Um, when did, when did but the yeah, there's, there's one police officer. You, oh, she's vital. The most vital is officer I've ever met in my life. <laughs> she said, I think everyone should be wearing masks. I'm going to give you a ticket. So I said, you know what? Take him a dog. Tomorrow's in the shadow. You're not getting the surname. All right? Go for it. Oh, she was a bully. Disgusting. And she actually uh, assaulted Samantha over there. Really? Yes. Oh, go talk to Samantha because they got the wrong ticket. Yeah, they did. They did. And we have it on film. We have it on film. I'll get right back to you. Hang on, Stephanie. Very sorry. Listen, I um, just spoke to uh, a couple of days ago, Mike in Sudbury. You were instrumental in breaking Mike out of this hotel. And folks, if you don't know the story of Mike, it's going to be posted soon. This was a man, a lineman, who came back from California to Ontario to get a cancer treatment appointment, was put in this hotel, despite the fact that he's an essential worker. He missed his appointment. They wouldn't let him go to the hospital to get his appointment. And thanks uh, to Stephanie, you were able to break him out. He spent two nights in this rat bag, eating almost un inedible food and in a, in a room that had black mold in the shower. And uh, I can tell you, Mike is very grateful that not only did you get him out, but you got him as far as Perry Sound. His wife picked him up, drove him to Sudbury, but he got a ticket 
for almost four thousand dollars what do you think about that yeah i think it's crazy i think not only is it crazy that he got this ticket i think it's crazy that they came to his residence at 9 30 at night to give him this ticket it's all intimidation and it's all fear and thank goodness for mike and terry for being so strong and, and not being faced by it and willing to fight this as much as it needs to be fought you know maybe mike's uh folly maybe the way he made a mistake was that he came into toronto as a law-abiding tax-paying citizen an essential worker he's a lineman what he should have done is i don't know fly into new york state cross into quebec by roxham road and that way the police don't give you a ticket they actually carry your bags like bellhops right yeah it's crazy <laughs> So what happened, we just got here a few minutes ago, I see more police are coming. Uh, they they fortified uh, the wall since we were last year. It's kind of like the Great Wall of China, which might be appropriate given that this place is owned by China. Absolutely, well, it's starting to really look like a prison now. Uh, when we first got here, we were informed that this entire street is private property and none of us are welcome to be on the street, on the sidewalks, on any of the parking lots here. Um, I was given two court summons for organizing an event over five people. Let me be the first to say that I did not invite anybody here. I decided to come myself. On top of it, these tickets are not for me. The, the information on the ticket is for Samantha and I am Stephanie. And the officer who handed these to me clearly knew that because he called me Stephanie and was very excited to give me these tickets. When I asked, what do I do with a court summons that is not in my name? He said, you have to speak to the officer who gave it to you. I tried to ask the officer who gave it to me, and he had no comments for me. Well, you know, you don't have to worry about a thing, Stephanie, because you're already a Fight the Fines candidate for us. We're taking care of your uh, lawyer. We're crowdfunding your legal fees through fightthefines.com. So all you have to do is just forward that to our lawyer, and uh, just uh, we're just going to heap a couple more logs on the fire, I guess, when you get your day in court. But i got to ask you, especially as a woman, what do you make of these reports coming out that there have been females sexually assaulted at these quarantine hotels? To me, that suggests they've rushed ahead with this, that they haven't done proper background checks on the security guards. And again, these are all allegations, nothing being, pr being proven in court. But if it is true, I think this is very disturbing. I think this is very disturbing to begin with the fact that the locks on doors are being taken off and you can't comfortably sleep in your room by yourself. If I was in one of these hotels, I don't know the men and the women who are working here. I would like that safety for myself. So on top of it now to hear the allegations that are coming out, it's absolutely sickening. Yeah. Well, how is this day going to go? Certainly the police are ramping up their presence. They put a, a fortified wall there. Um, do you expect to um, get anyone else to take up their offer of a free ride to freedom? Yeah, I'm not sure. Today feels like it's more of a rally and a protest than the focus uh, on the prisoners inside. I don't know, because I don't know what they're going to do at the moment. I feel like they're ready to start charging and arresting everyone with trespassing right now. Well, listen, you stay safe and stay sane, I guess, too. Right? Ah, thank you. I'll do my best. And you stay free. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, David. Take care. And there, you know, like, there's already friends around. And who knows what will happen next. Might never know. They might pull up a bar war or something else to or what they to protect this hotel owned by CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. And might never know. This area more about the this might be become a, another no man's land. And that's the thing that we will have to see, all right? And in the meantime of it, in the meantime of it, like, there's no meaning of, uh, of it. Like, I think they're gonna work on opening bar bars and I can tell you this might be become like this might become a, another no man's land or another Tiananmen Square. <laughs> hey Stephanie, do you think they will ever do that? No, these, those who are still sitting here handing out these tickets are people who don't know how to think. They only know how to follow orders. 
Do you think they still remember their slogan in their oath to serve and protect? No, they only know what their supervisors told them to do today. Eagles coming through. So if you want to take silver with you, you get it. Anybody you ever want to work? Oh, stick silver. Oh, no, they got. 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 Oh, no, you know, even the people who arrested Kelly Ann went outside the district, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, it seems like they brought in new uh, people to Dundas Square to get us kicked out because it seems like they fear us wherever we go. Yeah. Well, you know what? We've already had some ticketing here. And, uh, you know, uh, be careful because uh, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, with the degree of pettiness if they were to give you a ticket for uh, unnecessary horn use. <laughs> That's right. I almost got one with the, with the, with the horses there. They, they almost gave me uh, to the highway traffic that for uh, for, for uh, distracting the horse. Yeah. But isn't it funny that, you know, this hotel, according to Jamie, the security guard, is under construction, but by law, they have to have the building permits on display. Do you see any building permits here? No, and I've been in construction my whole life, and uh, yeah, no, I, I yeah, definitely, uh, there's no signage. Yeah. I don't see a co contractor company, nothing on there. So that's a very good point. So that means either they're out of compliance and they should be fined, or Jamie is a bold-faced liar. I think there's a good chance of uh, the latter. <laughs> 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 and, and, and the first thing you said, too. All right, then. Yeah. All right, you take care. I'm going to park my car and come join you guys. Okay, you got it. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> so what does that sign say? So you're trying to encourage those inmates to escape? I think those inmates should escape. I think yeah. freedom is a good thing. We should appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And it's the MC, the Paladin Security, and also the police are there. They're lying. And where's the construction workers? Where's the heavy equipment? Where's the department? Where's the company? The construction company? Where's the Where's the There's no transparency at all. The transparency. And as you can see, they open it for. And there's another a uh, paddle wagon or I don't know maybe a cruiser or a bus or a minivan. I don't know. There's no transparency at all because um uh, what I say is there's basically a prisoner there. A lot of people there been held as a prisoner. I guess I knew guess that inmates open it, they're opening their door for new inmates. Who knows? And there's no even transparency at all. Not at all. And uh, for sure that they're afraid of the truck going out He's an absolutely great officer. Jermaine is a great officer. I got a ticket. I'm, I'm inquiring about my trespass ticket for walking on the sidewalk. Jermaine is well, my favorite. Well, how about one police officer says that I'm trespassing on a sidewalk that's owned by the Radisson or the Chinese government? Apparently, this sidewalk all here is owned by the Chinese government. They didn't tell you that, Mr. Gris? 
Actually, sir, do we do we know where the property line is for the hotel and where the? Uh, I don't have a survey. Okay, but so, that would be germane to the point here if we're going to be trespassing. Well, then, then she can bring that up at the Justice of the Peace. So basically, okay, what right. if your federal officer is stepped in within my premises? Listen, listen, this isn't a media scrum. I'm not answering questions. No, 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 no. Did you not the? There's not even transparency. Where's the transparency? Results. I know nothing. I saw nothing. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's Picture for the people. Oh, are you Covers my face, nose, mouth, chin. <laughs> um, Do you think it will drive those white garments out? <laughs> or do you think they're gonna still come after you? Maybe, I don't know, but I'm covering my face to please the people. <laughs> you mean to please those Karens, right? Karens. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not fond of having my face on camera, so you can look at my mask. <laughs> you can look at my mask since that's the COVID normal for the people. So anybody that wants to tape me, you can look at my mask. And do you think, do you think, the, do you think those employers at Costco will even accept it? Like, do you think they will let you in the without on there? Oh, the the people are crazy. So this is my mask for the people so then they don't have to harass <laughs> yeah. or do you think they're gonna still come or do you think costco will still harass you for oh, they, they entering would, their they store for not wearing a mask it covers the no mouth nose and chin it's a face mask what is your name again and i can tell you right now folks that for sure this is what it looks like right now at john Torres, toronto or I should say John Tory Hacktown and Doug Ford's Ontario also Trudeau's Justin Trudeau's uh, Canada you know non-compliant oh you will be put as a non-compliant no fly list and even a domestic terrorist and if he did if Trudeau did that thing I will not be even surprised by it that's 100% for sure and as of right now uh that as of right now that there's no even transparency here they're not even answering simple questions but some of them did and i can tell you like i said earlier they might put by wars and might be become a no man's land and they pulling out a Pally Wagon, yeah, a Pally Wagon in best, van best or minivan, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Like where they put those uh, guests or an inmate. Like, I don't know what should I call them. Like, I don't even know either. Like, I don't even know either. And I can tell you right now, uh, it is what it is for in and it is what it is it looks like on John Torres Toronto where non-compliant and anyone that goes against with his ideology like everything that Eileen de Villa goes out is will be pulled out in the jail will be arrested like a common nuisance pretty much sure that you will uh, they will serve like Doug Ford, John Torrey, they did not like this and uh, they will certainly put you and others as a common nuisance for uh, being too noticeable, to like being too loud for voicing out your opinions, like exercising your rights and you can tell you like this is not it is what it is and uh it is what it looks like right now and uh let's see what's gonna happen next thursday so here at Rallison hotel near a toronto pearson airport i'm asylum justin billmore 
now signing off hey guys have you ever received one of these super egregious tickets that for exercising your rights for walking for even kind of trespassing a hotel that's open for the public like a public property that open for the public and if you get one of this if so you get one of this egregious ticket please go to fightdefines.com that's fightdefines.com let the rebel news know and they will crowdfund your legal fees and also if you're small business owner and you're really sick and tired of the double standards and you're willing to defy them please go to iwillopen.com that's iwillopen.com that rebel news now and they will tell your story around the world and by the way don't forget to make a donation at gf.me slash you slash jjkyhk also you can make a, another donation at paypal.com slash paypalme slash bukarebenton2 please make a donation and please make a donation to keep me going and i will totally appreciate your generous donations thank you